Alright, so we got ourselves a car. Good, Here we go. And they're going to lower us down onto the beach. Whee! Oh, this is fun. Look at us. Oh, <laughs> it's like some kind of weird amusement ride or something. I'm just gonna drop us nice and slowly. Wait, where are they shooting at? What's going on? Oh god! Ow! Oh god! Why the what the fuck you me? Why would you just Okay, let's flip this car over. Get down. Yee. Man, those things look like they're straight out of Starship Troopers, don't they? Oh god. These little things are called ant lions, and they do not stop spawning. They just uh, keep coming. So we're gonna gas it up and get out of here. Turbo, whoa! Let's try not to fly off the edge of the world here. And uh, this is pretty reminiscent of earlier in Water Hazard when we were driving our uh, our little hovercraft thing. But now, is there anything in here? But now we get a car. And uh, that lambda symbol means when you stop in here and get some supplies, whatever may be in here. Actually, that most of it's health. And we really, it's kind of the last thing we need right now. All right, onward and upwards to better things through this barricade. Let's get on with this level as I get stuck on that stupid sign. Woo, to the white light. Oh and that road falls off the edge of the world, so let's take a right. Now, if you missed last episode, uh, basically what was going on is uh, Alex is going to meet us at a place called Nova Prospect. It used to be an old uh, prison. And we are going to drive along the coast to meet her there, because she is going by train. Ow! Little jerk. Um, so we are taking this car. And we have to deal with ant lions until we get to one of these things. These things are nice. Uh, these are reminiscent of the movie Dune, except in Dune they attracted the creatures, and in this one they repelled them. So the antlions are over there, and they're pretty much chilling. Not going to get near us. Now we can turn this off, but, I mean, come on, why, why would we do that? Now if I get too far away from that thing, it might be Antlion City up in here. But I'll try to hurry. Okay, but not through that door. That sounds like it means a spider. Where are you? The aliens seem to be staying at bay, which is good. Let's clear the crap from this thing. Put a real gun. And investigate. I hear something bad. Come on. I hear several bad things, actually. There's one. Man, something's breathing in here. Can you hear it? Because I can totally hear it. There's one down. Let's see if we can't get up there. Ooh, infinite grenades. I already have all the grenades I can carry. That kind of sucks. Let's jump up here. Ah! Crap got away. Let's break open this thing. Take its goodies. Put some more shells in the shotgun. Oh! Ah, oh, it's one of these guys. Luckily, he seems to be stuck or something. Actually, everyone seems to be stuck. This is a really good time for me. Got it. Aw, oh, crap. Oh, God. Things are bad. Things are bad. Whoa, 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 whoa. Neurotoxin detected. Took some damage there. I'm alright. Got it. Are they all dead? I think they're all dead. Not that one! Jesus! Get down! That's gross. Okay, well, I still think it was worth the stop. Because there was a lot of supplies in here. 
And uh, we managed to have full health at the end of it all. Hey, look, it's a nice window. And we can leave the front door. Woo! That's good. Okay, jerk, I'm gonna rush back to my car. They seem to have found a way to get over there. And I'm much safer over here. Alright, little buddies. I gotta leave. I'll see you guys later. Woo! Through the fence. And now as I leave, I'm sure they'll be following me. When you touch the sand, that's when they spawn. You can see them coming up and they can leap. And they'll hurt you even in the car, as I just demonstrated, even though it wasn't on purpose. So we need to just get out of here as fast as we can. I find it easier to run them over than shoot them. Although shooting them can certainly be helpful. Alright, here's another stop. Switch over to a gun that I like. It's actually um, important to note, because I haven't pointed this out. On the back here is an ammo crate with infinite uh, machine gun ammo. So you can just fire off your machine gun all the time. Unfortunately, I don't really like the machine gun, so I usually stick with the shotgun. Is anybody in here? Anybody home? Place looks pretty deserted. Deserted is good. If I don't have to deal with enemies, I'd prefer not to. There's a uh, shell in there. Gotta be careful, gotta look out for ant lines. Switch over to the gravity gun to get in here. Okay, it's not working. There we go. Shotgun. This place is deserted. Not deserted! Got him. That was a good shot, that was a good shot. Go me. Go me. Oh, Jesus! Got him, got him. Whoa, jeez. Well, there goes my suit. These orange ones are, uh... They're, they're the nasty fellas. They, uh, they really... They got the powerful guns or something. Let's take a look here. If you look in the distance right there in the middle, up in that tower, the guy on the right with the briefcase, that's the G-Man. Making yet another appearance. But, uh, overall, those guys are good guys over there. Um, and I'm sure if we looked again, the G-Man would be gone, because he <laughs> tends to frequently disappear. But our goal is going to be to get over there, because, I mean, why why would you not head towards your, your buddies? That just seems like the thing to do. Okay, equipping shotgun. I right, got a full ammo on that. Let's drop down here. Anything down here? Besides a box in my way? I'm sure there's going to be something jump out and scare me, right? No? Really? Well, that's a nice surprise. To not have the crap scared out of you for once. Good. Good on me. And even though we lost our suit, we managed to get, I think, most of it back. I'm not sure how much we had at the beginning. Alright. No, 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 not in the water, not in the water. This is not the hovercraft. What the crap? Oh, God. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, I am stuck. Am I stuck? I'm stuck. Not good, not good. Alright, we gotta switch over to the gravity gun to get out of here. The guy is humping my car. Oh, let's flip my car out of here. Come on, car. Come on, car. Come on, car. Oh, this is not good. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come oh, man. This is not a good scenario. I am I'm getting attacked by ant lions, and my car won't move. Although, to be fair, I probably shouldn't have been driving on top of these things. Oh, there we go. There we go. Is it almost... It's almost free. Wait, no, I'm stuck. Are you kidding me? No way! There, come on, Gordon Freeman. Oh Lord, that was scary. Gas it, gas it, gas it. Oh man. Man, I am not <laughs> able to drive a car today. Now, for the record, I'm a, I'm a good driver in real life. Uh, I won't say I, I actually actually I would go as far as I wouldn't say that I'm the best driver in the world, but I would say I'm probably nine out of ten. I drive pretty pretty safely, actually. Um, there's a lot of people that, that really just drive so recklessly, and I'm not one of those people. I'm very careful on the road. I, uh, I, I think to, to be any less is uh, do a horrible injustice to the world. I don't know if that's what I should say, but I'll go with it. Injustice. Also, totally notice how uh, instead of jumping in that thing, which probably would have fell based on what it looks like, I can just use the gravity gun to my advantage here. Now, if every video game had a gravity gun, then we'd be all set. That would be good. Get in the car. Come on, Gordon Freeman. Are you 
nearly to that outpost up, up there. Out, outpost shop da. Starting to sound British or Australian or something. Now, I won't be as rude to say they all sound the same, but they do sound somewhat similar. I'm sure if if you're watching this and you're British or Australian, you disagree. I'm sure Liam is watching this and being like, no, they they're very different. They sound somewhat similar, don't they? Right, well, anyway. Martin Freeman. Hurry, get in the basement. We're expecting gunships at any moment. You kind of look like Colonel one of my professors. Covington, glad to see you made it. Expecting gunships. I don't really like gunships. I'm willing to deal. Wait, basement? <laughs> basement, I'll head into this building. Actually, where where does he want me to go? This way. This you Okay. Oh man. That right there is rocket ammo. Stay with me, Freeman. I never I never saw you go anywhere. Oh, okay, there we go. Now I'm following you. Look at me being nice. I'm following you. I'm holding you at gunpoint as I do so. Give me your wallet. Or I'll shoot you in the leg nine times. This steerable rocket launcher is our best bet for taking down a gunship. Ah, hello. I'll be right with you. Now, where was I? I'm Gordon Freeman. Yes. Using the laser guide, you can steer your rocket past the gunship's defenses and prevent it from shooting down your rocket. This will only anger it at first, but if you can survive long enough to make several direct hits, you'll be rewarded with a prize worthy of any mantelpiece. Now, who's going to be the lucky one to carry it into combat? I'm Gordon yes. Freeman. Gordon Freeman. I couldn't have asked for a finer volunteer. Colonel Odessa Cubbage at your service. Oh boy. Lighthouse Point, and then I'll come right up and lend a hand. Go on, teach that gunship a lesson it will never forget. Okay. Use the launcher's laser guide to steer your rocket past the gunship's defenses. Yes, sir. You got it, sir. All right, now we can look at all the weapons we have. We are really getting up there. Uh, we have 5-5, uh, five five, which is the RPG, the rocket propelled grenade. We're going to double tap 5, and now we have the RPG, and we're going to have to use it to take out these gunships. We'd also use it to take out, you know, enemies, but it's kind of a waste. Where's the gunship? There we go! Oh, God! Now, uh, it is a gunship, and it will um, tear us the heck apart, and we do not want that to happen. we got to be very careful not to die. Now, the, uh, the trick here is to not shoot it directly, but instead to lead your ammo into it. So we'll fire off into the distance, and then paint the target. Okay, sometimes it doesn't work. Let's see here. Let's try this again. These people are kind of in my way. Fire over here. There we go. Shooting it directly normally doesn't work. It normally uh, makes it kind of do what happened the first time I shot it. Just fires away at it. And these things really hurt, so you need to be careful not to get hit. I think it's also important. Come on, there we go. That's two. It's also important to note that um, these, those gunships, from what I can tell, are actual creatures. They're living beings. They're not these piloted things. You can tell, especially by the uh, the face of them. Uh, also, notice that those guys. My teammates, get out of my way, you idiot! <laughs> my teammates have just nearly killed me. Um, actually, give me supplies, so they'll throw me health and throw me ammo, which is really helpful. As she just did, which is good because she's in my way and costing me life, so she might as well give it back to me. There we go. That's a nice little loop. Oh, come on, guys! You're you're, you're really you're, you're starting to get in my way. That's five. That's an explosion. It's laying in the middle of the road. New achievement. Man, I'm down to 50 health. Although it's mostly thanks to those morons. But I think there was a lot of health down here. Oh yeah, there's health all over the place. Some suit would be nice though. 
but I guess that that's probably asking for too much. Get going, Dr. Freeman. We know Eli Vance is depending on you. Eli Vance. And I've got two ammunition for this. I'm going to grab one more. Because, I mean, hey, I can use this for other, other things. And uh, it's certainly going to come in handy. And with that, it's time to get back out on the road.